Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the game Marvel Rivals working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you've got an M series chip, for example, the latest M4 chip, then this is going to be the tutorial for you. So unfortunately, there is no Mac port of Marvel Rivals. You have to play the Windows version of the game on your Mac. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to do that from start to finish. There's going to be a very specific version of crossover that we're going to be using in order to play the game. There was also going to be a couple of tips and tricks in order to get this working. There is an invisible window that you have to click, which I'm going to teach you how to get through and I'm also going to show you how to get the best levels of performance. There's a launcher which needs to be shut off when you actually play the game otherwise it's going to completely tank your performance and I'm going to show you this in today's video. So in order to get this working we need to be using crossover previews. So this is a specific version of crossover which has the latest patches and fixes contained within it and it's only available to paid license holders. So you can't use this if you're using the trial version of Crossover. You need to be a paid up subscriber. And if you're concerned about cost, then don't worry, because all you need to do is to click on the link at the top of my video description in order to get an exclusive 25% off discount. Just click on the link and then type in the code Apple Gaming Wiki New, make a purchase of the license, and then you'll get access to Crossover Preview. So once you made a purchase of a Crossover license and you have logged into your account, you'll see here that there's a button on the left here, which is the preview center. So here, this is gonna be handy information about the preview application. And the important thing here is to look at the downloads section here. So click on downloads, and then we can go ahead and download the latest crossover preview. So you can see here, this is the latest version, 2024-1028. That just means that it's been released on the 28th of October. And this is the last one at the time of recording. So click on the zip file here. And then once that has downloaded, what we're gonna do is to go ahead and open this in our finder. So just open our finder, then we'll go to our downloads folder. So now what we can do is double click on the zip file in our downloads folder. It's gonna extract crossover preview. And then what we're gonna do is drag and drop this into the applications folder. And then within applications, we're gonna scroll down until we find crossover preview. Then we'll double click. And then once that's double clicked, we can press the open button to manually open. And that crossover preview is installed. So now what we're gonna do is type in a search for Steam and we'll download the Windows version of Steam. So just click install and then it's gonna go ahead and create our Steam bottle. So here it's saying in process, just wait for that to finish. Here we're gonna allow the font to install, press yes. So now we're gonna go ahead and go through the Windows Steam setup, press next and install this locally and then press run Steam. Here it's gonna do an update. So now the Steam window has come up here. We're gonna go ahead and log in with our account. Or we can scan the QR code with your mobile app. So now we are in the Windows version of Steam and we can go ahead and download multiple games. So if you haven't added Marvel Rivals to your Steam account already, just go ahead and search for it on the store and then add this to your account. And then once that's ready, click on library. And then we're gonna to go to our library and do a search for Marvel Rivals and then click the install button and then install this locally. Just press install here. And then one thing we're gonna do before we launch the game is to go ahead and shut down Steam. And then what we wanna do is to go into crossover preview and we wanna to go to our Steam bottle, which we just created. And then we wanna to go to graphics and then change it to D3D Metal. That's gonna allow us to run DirectX 12 games. And we wanna change the synchronization to M-Sync. That's gonna give us the best performance. Click reboot bottle and enable M-Sync. And then we're gonna go ahead and reopen Steam. So now we're gonna go ahead and launch Marvel Rivals. Just click the play button and then the launch is gonna come up. It's saying here the operating system's outdated, don't worry, just press confirm, and then continue here, just ignore this error message, and then click the launch button. So now we have a known issue with graphics driver. This is a good sign. This is the standard Unreal Engine error message when we're trying to run games through crossover. Just press no here, and then the game is gonna force launch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to compile shaders. So this is a fairly quick process, so just let that complete. This is a process that only ever happens once, so just let that finish, it's pretty quick. So first thing is that we have this weird black box in the center here, and you can just click on that in order to get past it. And then next, you're gonna have issues interacting with the screen. So every time you open up this game, you won't be able to click on anything. So the way to fix that is that you get your keyboard, and then we press the Command Tab key, and then we press it again, and then that allows us to interact with the mouse now. So I'm gonna press space to continue here. And then we can go ahead and click to start and it's gonna head and log in for us. And in order for us to actually continue this login process, we need to click on the screen to accept the end user license agreement. So the, the area here is about here. You can see the kind of hand cursor change. 
if you're clicking on this area here, so just click on that. And uh, now it's going to log in properly. So unless you do that, it's going to be waiting forever. And then just press confirm here. And now we're going to go ahead and play. So, and if you ever have issues clicking on interface item, just press command tab twice, and then you'll be able to go ahead and do things like change the settings. I do recommend changing the settings to something quite low. Do apply FSR to something quite aggressive like performance mode, and then make sure to use low settings. So that's going to make performance work a lot better. Also, the next tip as well is to go ahead and disable the launcher. So I'm going to press Command Tab again, and then we're going to click on the spotlight icon and type in Activity Monitor. And uh, basically, if we go into our Memory tab here, and then we order by memory usage, you can see that the Marvel Rivals Launcher.exe, which is this application here, which uh, was used to launch the app in the first place, is using 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is huge. And it's gonna definitely hog performance of the game on your Apple Silicon Mac. So make sure after you've actually logged in and launched the game to command tab and then force quit that uh, application. And then that's gonna help with memory usage on this. Just be aware that basically you need at least 16 gigabytes to actually run this game and uh, no matter which M series chip that you're using, and it'll actually exceed 16 gigabytes. So make sure that you have enough on your computer in order to get this game to run. So now already we can go ahead. I do recommend playing the uh, practice range first before you do anything, just so that your game can actually catch some of the shaders and animations, which will make the gameplay smoother when you're playing online. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up uh, my Iron Man. It takes like a few seconds for your game character to show up, so just be patient with that. But generally speaking, in practice mode here, you can see we're getting a pretty decent frame rate, something about uh, 40, 50 FPS. And what you can see is that if you actually play a real online match, then you're gonna get something like 30 to 40 FPS, which ain't too bad at all, considering that this is the one of the very few competitive multiplayer games you can actually play on an M series Mac. Anyway, that is how you go ahead and play Marvel Rivals on your Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorial videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.